No, it's not one of the old props from Thunderbirds, and it's not a Citroen either, even though it does look remarkably like one. It is, in fact, British. The BLE CV3 from the early 80s. One of those show cars they used to unveil every year at Earl's Court to wow the crowds. And it was incredibly energy efficient. It's three-cylinder engine given over 100 miles to the gallon, which is just as well because every time you had to get out and fill it up, you'd have to look at it. And let's face it, you wouldn't want to do that. They said they got the space right. The only thing I would say is that you're very aware of the roof line here uh, because, of course, it has to be very low to give that low rate to the windscreen. The doors are a little low and a little narrow, so it's a bit of a duck and a weave getting in and out of the car. As for noise, well, there's the odd vibration. This car's obviously been thrashed around a bit. But there's very little uh, wind noise. Even motoring along here we are at uh, something in excess of 60 miles an hour, and it's very easy indeed to hold a sort of conversational tone. As for this three-cylinder engine, well, if you didn't know about it, I'm sure you wouldn't notice it. It's a bit lumpy, perhaps, at the bottom end. It has the odd uh, flat spot, but that's really a question of getting the fuel injection right. This is a fuel injection car for the characteristics of the engine. But apart from that, it really, once you've got it moving, pulls away very smoothly right through the rev range, very nippy at, uh, at low speeds. And here we are, for example, coming up to something just under 70 miles an hour in full gear. Put my foot down, and it still pulls away very happily indeed. In fact, I've had it up to 110 miles an hour with no trouble at all on the big back straight. The handling, well, the steering is very light, but still very precise and very predictable. Put it into a bend, and it holds the line very uh, easily indeed. The big problem, I would say, is the suspension, because if you're going to bend at all fast, it certainly leans over on its ear. It leans over pretty alarmingly, rather like a, a French car, perhaps. And that's a problem, because the suspension has to be light for this lightness of car. That's a problem they're obviously going to do some more work on. So there it is, a million pounds worth of ultra-efficient, ultra-economical family car. Not the most attractive uh, million pounds worth, a bit bug-shaped uh, in its overall appearance, but uh, a car that poses really some very radical questions about the design of tomorrow's family car. It'll be interesting to see how many of them and how rapidly they filter through to the British Rail and production line. Car of the future? Not this one, William. No, from one...